Hi, everybody. I'm Engineer Joe, and this is the Bible Train. You know, every time we get together, we get on our train back over here, and we take a ride to some place in the Bible. And when we get there, we find out things that God has done, promises that he has made, and adventures that he has for us still to do. So you know what? That's pretty exciting. So we're glad you're here with us today. But you know what? You can't run a train, even a little one, all by yourself. You have to have a whole crew. And part of my crew here is Miss Faith. So welcome, Miss Faith. Hi, everybody. Well, we're sure glad you're here. Have you had a good summer? Yeah. Are you back in school? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's great. Well, I'm glad you could take time off so we could get the train moving today. Now, let's see. There's one... Two, are we missing somebody? Yeah, we're missing Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty, of course. Oh, my goodness. Now, how do we get Miss Kitty up here? Because Miss Kitty, her little apartment is right down below us, and she likes to sleep a whole lot. So what do we do, Miss Faith? I say one, two, three, and we all yell, hi, Miss Kitty. One, two, three, hi, Miss Kitty. I like it. All right, why don't you lead us that way? Let's see if we can get her up. One, two, three. Hi, hi Miss Kitty. Well, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Hi, kids. Well, Miss Kitty, you sound like you're in a good mood. I am. Well, that's good. So did something special happen for you? Yeah. Well, what was it? I got mail. You got mail? Yeah. Oh, it was in an envelope. Well, did you open it? What did it say? Uh, I couldn't. You couldn't? Why not? I don't have thumbs. You don't have thumbs. Well, you know what? You you don't even have fingers there, kiddo. So why don't you go get it, and, and maybe Miss Faith would open it up for us. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'll go down. All right. It's down here somewhere. Let's see. It's behind the TV. No. The refrigerator? No. Over by the microwave? No. Oh, where is it? <laughs> there it is, right here. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I got it. Okay, your Faith. Thank okay, you. now, how do you know it's to Miss Kitty? Because it says Miss Kitty in big Miss letters. Miss Kitty in big letters. Can you open that up? I'm Here so excited. All right, let's see what it is. Oh, my goodness, Miss Kitty. What is it? Well, Miss Kitty, it is a thank you. What? A thank you. Let me read it to you. Dear Miss Kitty. Thank you so much for doing all the Bible trains. Wow, that's really sweet. It is. You are you are my favorite one on the Bible train. I am. Well, that's what it says right here. And my second favorite one is Miss Faith. Well, that's pretty sweet. And I like the other guy, whatever his name is. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, anyway, this person says, thank you very much for doing the Bible trains. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. Nobody ever told me thank you like that before. Well, Miss Kitty, that's not right. You know, we all ought to say thank you a whole lot. Thank you for being on the Bible train. And Miss Faith, thank you for being on the Bible train. You know, and for being my partners here. Now, do you like being here? Yep. Well, okay, how about you, Miss Kitty? Yeah, I like being here. I like being an assistant conductor. Well, that's wonderful. You know, that gets me thinking. Maybe we ought to get on the Bible train and take a look at a place in the Bible where it says something about being thankful. So, Miss Faith, why don't you get us going here? Whistle us aboard. All right, all aboard. Let's get on the Bible train, and let's head on over. We're going to go through the Old Testament all the way through the New Testament, the Gospels, and finally we're going to get into some letters written by the Apostle Paul. And here we are in our first stop, because the Bible talks about how important it is to be thankful. Really? Even to kittens? Even to kittens. 
So let's take a look. Ephesians 5.20 says, Always give thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wow, that's pretty good. It is pretty good. And so, you know, what should we thank God for, do you think? I don't know. Well, we thank God for what he does and then who he is and how he loves us. Wow. Is there anybody else we got to be thankful for? Well, I think so, Miss Kitty. I tell you what, let's get back on the train. We'll make a second stop today, Miss Faith. Would you get us going down the road? All right, our train's just going to make a short, quick run here, and we're going to stop at the book of Philippians and listen to what it says. It says, every time I think of you, I thank my God. Wow. That's right. You know what God is saying is that we need to be thankful for each other. So, Miss Faith, guess what? what? I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for you. That's pretty sweet. How about you, Miss Kitty? I'm thankful for you, too. Yay! Well, I'm thankful for you, too. All right. So we're thankful for each other. You know, I like someone to say thank you to. It is nice, isn't it? And there are lots of folks out there we can say thank you to, to our parents and your grandparents and to friends and brothers and sisters and teachers and all those people. So whenever they do good things for us, tell them thank you. Tell them how much you appreciate them because that's what God wants us to do. Then take time, take time, Miss Kitty, to say thank you to God too. I like it. I like it. You know, I like when somebody says thank you. I know that. And you know what? God likes it too. And you, and you know what we do when we say thank you is we appreciate you and do and all the things that you do for us. So anyway, today we've learned about Thanksgiving. So uh, I think we're good to go for today. What do you think, gang? I'm looking at the clock on the wall. I think it's about time for us to get that train going. So well, what do you say we pray? Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's pray. Miss Kitty, show us how we're going to pray. Put your paws together like this and bow your little head. There you go. Yeah, you over there. Yeah, bow your head like that. Yes. Okay. okay. All right, here we go. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us so much. Thank you for dying on the cross for us so that our sins could be forgiven and we could live with you forever. Thank you for loving us and giving us all kinds of wonderful things and giving us life itself. Help us to be thankful to you and thankful to each other. We love you and pray it in Jesus' name. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen. Yay, yay, Miss Kitty. Well, gang, you know what? I think it's time for us to go grab some dinner. Where should we go? I think you know. The Red Caboose. Yeah, yay, the Red Caboose. You know why? Because they've got trains there. So we're going to go to the Red Caboose. What are you having at the Red Caboose? A uh, sandwich. A uh, sandwich? What kind? Mm, turkey and avocado. Turkey and avocado. Miss Kitty? Really? Oh, okay, tuna melt, tuna melt, yeah, okay. And I'm going to get a hamburger, so we're going to go over there and have a good time. But you remember that we love you, God loves you, and we'll be praying for you. So be thankful this week, and we'll see you next time. So take care for now. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.